Hello, this is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Cervical Healthcare of Los Angeles and Carson. Uh, today, what we want to talk about is the body's natural inborn ability to heal itself. Uh, what exactly does that mean, and what are some of the things that you can do to maximize your body's ability to heal through some health condition that you may be suffering with, or if you already feel well, what can you do in your life that can maximize the health that you already have? Um, and so just to get through a couple of uh, scenarios that will help you that we already kind of know uh, that illustrate the body's ability to heal itself. If you cut yourself, we've all cut ourselves, and uh, we don't educatedly think about the blood clotting and then the body forming a scab, right? Because that's what it does. The blood clots, body forms a scab. And then underneath the scab, as time goes on, the tissue starts to mend and heal and repair. And when it's healed enough, the scab falls off. And then as you know, there's kind of a red area there for a while. And the body will do the best that it can to heal the skin that's been cut open. Now, obviously, if it's been cut too deep, uh, you may need medical attention. But in the case of a minor scratch we've all had, we all see that healing process go on. And we don't think about it. It's not something under our conscious control. Our body does it automatically. And the same would go for a burn, whether that be a sunburn, we burn ourselves in uh, the oven. When there's tissue damage, there's something intelligent in our body that knows how to mend, heal, and repair the tissue damage. And we could look at a couple of other things that happen um, when we get a flu. What does our body do when we're exposed to a virus? Uh, we get sick. Getting sick isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's your body's symptomatic expression by raising the fever or the temperature of the body. We get a fever because the body's intelligent and it knows when the body temperature rises that our immune function, our immune system functions better. It gives the body a better ability to mobilize the white blood cells and cannibalize the virus. And when our fever uh, increases, blood flow through the body increases. And so when we're exposed to bacteria and viruses, for the most part, our body's able to deal with it on its own accord through the immune system. Again, an intelligent healing process that goes on. Um, so let's talk about the central nervous system. All of us, the stories that I just talked about, we all kind of know that these things occur. And that's something that goes on naturally inside of each one of us. But if all of the things I just talked about, the immune system, wound repair, scabs forming, tissue repair, that's all under the control of the central nervous system. And so whether you're suffering from a health condition or you feel well, but you want to maximize what you already have there, the nervous system's a really good place to look. And especially the upper cervical spine. So most of the internal function in the body is all modulated and controlled at the brainstem level, which is right here. This is all the function of the body we don't think about, our heart beating, our blood pressure being regulated at a certain level. And because the central nervous system is what controls and coordinates everything in the body, it's a best place to look to find health issues or to maximize what's already there. So here's basically what can happen. Head weighs 10 to 12 pounds. It sits on the top vertebra called the atlas that weighs two ounces. So you have a bowling ball and a two ounce bone sitting on the end of a stick. This is a very vulnerable structural area of the spine. So as we go through life, we have slips and falls, car accidents, sports injuries, falling off monkey bars on our head. There's all sorts of trauma that happens. And those types of sharp, blunt type traumas can dislodge the top vertebra at the base of the, or the top of the neck at the base of the skull. It, become lock, it can become locked. And when it becomes locked, it irritates central nervous system function, right? It decreases the body's overall healing potential. And so in our office, what we do is upper cervical chiropractic Blair technique more specifically and it's all aimed at restoring structural balance to the upper neck so neurologically speaking the body can function the way that's supposed to. So I just want to illustrate two things uh, that happened recently in the office that kind of um, kind of explain how removing nerve pressure from the cord can help the body in different parts heal itself. So one patient recently came in, and this is gonna sound kind of um, weird, but it illustrates very well how an upper neck misalignment can limit 
or decrease the body's healing potential. And so this has been a patient, she'd been a patient for several years. I hadn't seen her in about five months. And three months before her coming in, she hit her funny bone. We've all done that, right? You hit it on the edge of a chair or table and you get that zinger pain down your arm, right? Well, she hit her elbow and usually in a day or two or three, it goes away. Well, she, after that happened, suffered with elbow pain and arm pain and numbness and tingling all the way down the pinky and it didn't go away. And this went on for six, eight weeks and then she decided to do something about it. So she went to an orthopedist and they took an x-ray and ran all these tests. Well, there's couldn't find anything. And so in the back of her head one day, she had me saying the brain and the central nervous system controls and coordinates every function in your body. And maybe I should go see Dr. Hall. Maybe my atlas is out of position that's decreasing my body's ability to heal itself, right? So she comes into the office and we run her through the test and we find that her atlas is locked out of position. We make a correction and she comes back a week later and she walks into the correction room and she says, Dr. Hall, I can't believe it. I should have been here three months ago because after two days after you adjusted me, my elbow pain completely cleared up, and my numbness and tingling is gone. And so that's an example different from normally what we see in our office because the injury was to the elbow. It was unrelated to an upper neck injury, but because the atlas was locked out of position, it was decreasing nervous system function, decreasing the body's healing potential the body couldn't heal an injury that happened at a different location in the neck. And so when she was corrected and the nervous system started to work better, it was able to go in and heal and repair and deal with the inflammation and she did better. And so yesterday I had a seven year old kid come in who's had vertigo for the last oh six months and it's gotten to the point where it's really interfering with his life. And we adjusted him about a week ago, and this is more normal story, upper cervical story. Um, but this kid has been to several chiropractors and been searching for an answer. And uh, when he came into the office, we palpated his neck, and the whole right side of his neck is just completely tight compared to the left side. And we took a three-dimensional scan of his neck, found it exactly how his atlas was locked out of position, and corrected him. And over the course of the last two weeks. He's not completely gone, but he's about 70, 80% better. And then one other thing, I just thought this was normal for their kid, is he was having um, constipation. He was only having a bowel movement twice a week. And in the last week, all of a sudden, he's going every day. And of course, that's shocked both the kid and the mom, a neck adjustment affecting the GI tract. So we all have an innate intelligence in our body. We all have an internal healing system that's always doing the best for us. Uh, and even if you have a problem here and you don't correct it, that internal wisdom in your body is always going to strive to keep you as best as you can be. But what we do in our office, and we actually would recommend anybody that's alive, whether they have health problems or not, this is something that should be checked just like your teeth. You should be checked for an upper cervical misalignment from a trauma earlier in life that's in interfering with the central nervous system causing your body not to work the way that it's supposed to. So that's what we do in our office. Uh, we have two offices, one in Carson, which serves the South Bay, Manhattan Beach, Redonda Beach, Rancho Palos Verdes, Long Beach, um, El Segundo, Carson, Compton, those areas. And we have another office up in Los Angeles. Uh, we serve Burbank, Hollywood, the greater Los Angeles area, Santa Monica, the Palisades, Beverly Hills, and surrounding area. So if you are looking to maximize your health uh, or you have a chronic health condition that hasn't responded to conventional care, uh, we do offer a free consultation in the office and we can check to see if your upper cervical spine has been injured in the past and it's interfering with normal body function. And then of course, if you're interested in doing something about it, we can correct it. So I hope that uh, this information was helpful and hope to see you soon.